to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge all our sins. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, 
constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those who you are pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him a living stone rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like a living stone, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. 
For it says in scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that will make people stumble, and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God and have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will, know, you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I spoke to you, I do not spoke on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than this because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, maybe around 30 years back, I was in the seminary and one of my friend, I want to go and see him during the time of vacation time. So he was living further from our home the south side of Kerala, India. And you had to take 
two or three buses to reach there. He had already given me uh, the address of his home address. So I took the first bus, I got down it after four, four hours. Then I took the second one, it took another half an hour. Then the third one, another 20 minutes. Then I got down off that uh, bus and there was next to the bus stop, there was a small tea shop. So he had asked me to ask that man, then he will tell you how to reach my house. So I went to him and I showed this address. And this, there were three or four other people who were sitting down there for uh, to take coffee or tea, something like that. So this man, he looked at the address and he said, it's a hilly place. You have to take the first hill down to the valley, then you have to turn to the right, then you go all the way down, you'll see another hilly place, you climb that one, then you go to right, then you go to the left, first left, then turn next to right, then you will reach his house. Exactly, I did not get anything what he said. But anyway, I started walking, thinking that I will see somebody else on the way. But all those four people, those who are drinking coffee there, he knew one of them, knew exactly where I'm going. He came after me, behind me, and he, uh, he started to call me and he said, uh, where do you want exactly to go? And I showed this address to him. He looked and he smiled at, him, at me and he said, is your friend, he's a seminarian, you are a seminarian too? I said, yes sir, how do you know? Oh, this boy, I was, I taught him, I'm a teacher, and his father also is a teacher. My house is not very close, but I know exactly where he lives. He said, you come with me. I will take you to the house where you are supposed to go. So don't worry about any way, anything about your way, okay? So I started to go with him. He was asking me many questions, and while we were talking, took another 25 minutes to reach the, this, uh, my friend's house. Once it reached, he said, this is his house and everything. He introduced me to, the, to his parents. I think this is exactly what Jesus was doing or Jesus is doing with you and me. He's not telling how to reach the Father. He's telling, I am the way. I will take you. Don't worry about. You don't have to ask anybody how to reach the heavenly kingdom or my Father's house. I'm taking with you as that man was coming with me, walking together with me. Jesus is telling, I'm walking with you. I am the way. You don't have to be afraid about anything. I am the way and the truth and the life. If you want to have the life enough, you will reach that life. Walk through me, through me, with me and in me. And I will take you to that life eternally. And you will never walk in darkness any time. And that's what Jesus is telling in today's gospel. Today and every day of our life. You know, before the birth of Jesus Christ, thousands of years back in India, in the big thick forest, especially in the south, there were a lot of Krishis or Munis, where hermits were being living, holy people in the thick forests. They were very pious, holy people. And they were used to teach their disciples kind of mantra. Mantra means a kind of prayer. Prayer that uh, repeat after again and again and again and again is that is called mantra. And this uh, rishis or this uh, holy people used to teach their, their disciples this beautiful prayer before the birth of Jesus, you know, maybe 800 years back and so on. This is what they were teaching in, uh, in Sanskrit. This is what they were teaching. Asadoma Satgamaya, Tamasoma Jodirgamaya, Mrityoma Amardangamaya. The whole meaning is this. Lord, lead us from untruthfulness to the truthfulness. Lord, teach us from darkness to the light. Lord, Take us from death to life. These are the three beautiful Sanskrit, the prayer they were reciting again and again and again and again. Lead us from untruthfulness to truthfulness, from darkness to light, from death to life, or mortality to immortality. This is exactly their prayers were being heard when Jesus Christ came into this world. 
the one and only God who told the whole universe, I am the way, the truth, the life is Jesus Christ only because he is the son of God who came into this world to save you and save me, to show the way to the heavenly father. When we offer this holy Eucharist, we shall be so grateful to the heavenly father for giving his one and only son into our life to show us the way, to take us from the darkness to light, to help us to lead us from untruthfulness to the truthfulness and walk together with him. We shall, uh, we shall be grateful and gratitude. We shall show our grateful to the good Lord always. We shall always walk with him. He will be the way, the truth, the life always. Here also we, we celebrate the great day for the mothers. We remember all our mothers, wherever they may be. They are very special in your life and my life. They always walk close with us like Jesus Christ. They show us everything in our life. What to do, how to do, how to speak, how to walk and everything. You know, mothers take care of their children from their heart. They love them from the, the depth of their heart. They sacrifice everything for their children, the time, the talent, everything what you say, you can mention in this world, they sacrifice there for their children. They stay with us. If you are sick, you can see your mother is sitting on the side of the bed and asking you again and again, are you okay? Are you okay? And so on. That's the beauty and the <clears throat> love of the mothers. So we shall pray for all the mothers in this world, wherever they may be, those who are living, we shall ask the good Lord to give them the strength and the courage to stand strong in all the troubles and the problems of this world and lead us to the right path. And also if they are gone ahead of us, we shall pray through them too, because they are closer to God now. So they will pray for us. So when we offer this Holy Eucharist, we'll, uh, we'll be grateful to the good Lord for giving us Jesus Christ to show the way, the truth, and the life. We shall be grateful to the good Lord also for our mothers, special, great, beautiful. And I don't know what else word can be used to show the higher quality of our mothers. They are special and great. We shall ask our Blessed Mother to keep all our mothers under her mantle today and every day of our life. She will protect them, she will guard them, and she will guide them. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, unsubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead 
and the life of the world to come. Amen. We'll bring all our special petitions and the petitions of our brothers and sisters on the altar of the Lord. We pray that deacons, faithful in their service to the word and the poor, may be an invigorating symbol for the entire church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all mothers, that through the intercession of the Mother of God, the Lord will bless them and reward them for their sacrifices and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For continued blessings on those celebrating their wedding anniversary this week, Ramon and Guadalupe Diaz, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For continued blessings for those celebrating their birthdays this week and for our visitors today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who are sick and suffering and for those who have asked for our prayers, especially Robin Hansen, Christine Onea Bird, Mary Abidi, Christopher Heath, Jerry Kessler, and Joni Upstick, and for the safety of those in our armed forces, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Violet Blanchett, aunt of Lucille Mims, that God may grant, th grant them eternal light, rest, and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those affected by the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, full of mercy, love, and compassion, we are so grateful for giving us your one and only Son, Jesus Christ, to show us the way and the truth and the life in our day-to-day -day life. We are grateful for all our giving us the mothers, those who are very special in our day-to-day -day life too. We bring all our prayers and intentions to you through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, and we pray, Hail Mary, Mary. Full, full of grace, grace the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among Muslim, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of the human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of the human hands, it will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away your mind, if it is Lord, make me drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this holy sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Amen. with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. 
But in this time above all loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with the pastoral joy every land, every people exhort you in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Spirit to give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, give you thanks, said the blessings, broke the bread, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, said the blessings, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. of your Son, his wondrous res resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in <coughs> thanksgiving the holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblations of your church, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. 
may he make us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with our most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, Saint Joseph, with all the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we relay for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, the order of bishops and all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters and our parents, or to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we may, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Jesus Christ, through our, whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Dear Pastors, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. <coughs> Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the most holy sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire to possess Thee within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive Thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace Thee as being already there, and unite myself wholly to Thee, Never permit me to be separated from thee. Amen. Defend us in battle, 
Be our safeguard against the wiles and the wickedness of the devil. Restrain him, O God, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin and destruction of souls. Amen. Now I will pray for all the mothers, give the Mother's Day blessings. Great, gracious God, we thank you for adopting us into your family through the miracle of your grace and for calling us to be brothers and sisters to each other by giving your own mother Mary to us to be our mother too. Today, loving God, we pray for all our mothers wherever they may be, who cared for us when we were helpless, who comforted us when we were hurt, whose love and care we often took for granted. Loving God, we thank you for the love of these mothers you have given us, whose love is so precious that it can never be measured whose patience seems to have no end. May we see your loving hand behind them and guide them. We ask you to bless them with your special love. Guide them and protect them always. Mary, our Blessed Mother, in their pains and sorrows and joys, let them turn to you for help. Protect them under your mantle always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously, graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. And lead those you have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from the former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining with me and we we'll pray together. I pray for you, we we'll pray for me too, and especially for all the mothers. And love you all. Thank you. Going forth, let there be peace on earth. <laughs>